Hey, Chris with RC Worst here. Welcome back to another great video. I'm sure you clicked on this video because you saw in the description that uh, we are going to be testing out a new UV water bottle. And if you want to watch me drink toilet water, be sure to stick around. All right, so we're waiting for our package to arrive. It should be here any minute now. Oh, there it is. Excellent. All right, so let's see what the unboxing of this thing looks like. We don't need that. Plenty of bubble wrap. I like that. It's fun. Popping bubbles. Ah, now we're to the meat of it. We don't need that either. So this is a Glacier UV LED. So this is a LED UV water bottle. Uh, basically, I have not opened this thing. I have not got my hands on this thing. So we're going to be looking at it together. Uh, but my understanding, I kind of read a little bit about it, uh, is it's essentially to be used on any clear water source, any water source that's visibly clear, visually clear, uh, depending on what word you prefer to use to describe that. Um, and there's really no limitations. There's not a bunch of uh, fine print in the owner's manual or anything that I looked at that says what you can and can't do with it. It doesn't make any claims that you know you um, don't want to put any bacterial water or anything that might be contaminated. It just says visually clear water. So that's why we're going to put that to the test. And I figured that the funnest way to do that would be to pull some water out of the toilet bowl. We'll make sure to use the toilet from our service department because um, I'm sure you know what that means. So we're gonna take a look at this bottle. Let's just dive right into it. Pretty nice packaging. Um, so if you're not familiar, uh, Luminor, who's the manufacturer of this water bottle, is a company based up in Canada. Uh, and they make some really, really high quality UV systems for your home. So you, if you wanted to treat your entire home with UV, uh, we could set you up with a UV system through Luminor that would purify all the water that comes from your home. Like if you've got a well that's made people sick or you've drawn water out of a lake that's made people sick, uh, that is what Luminor specializes in. And I think that, you know, with the whole push to minimize the plastics in the environment and uh, it, more and more of a growing market in the reusable waters, uh, reusable water bottles market, um, it kind of just came to fruition. It makes sense. So we've seen different products. Um, like some, like the like the Life Straw comes to mind, or uh, another big manufacturer like uh, Yeti water bottles. Um, you know, those all have kind of different pros and cons. Sometimes it's really expensive and doesn't do a lot. Sometimes they're really well insulated and can keep your water hot or cold or beverage hot or cold. Um, I guess in my mind, the biggest limitation with this product before we crack into the box would be that. It is strictly a water bottle. You don't want to put anything else inside of this thing, though it does say hot or cold for those of you hot water drinkers, I guess. Um, but it, we're going to do a little bit of testing, I think, and just see how long it keeps things hot or cold. Um, so let's just jump into this. I've left you guys on the edge of your seat long enough. All right, so here we go. We're opening this up after somebody gave me a call and interrupted our fantastic video. Um, packaging seems decent. Ah. Comes with a charging cable, so that's kind of cool. It's just a micro USB. Actually, this is surprisingly light. I, I, I watched some videos on YouTube earlier today about some other products out there and, um, and kind of read some reviews on some different products. And a lot of people acted like it was really heavy. Um, this is super light, I mean, almost balanced it's not so the battery and stuff i believe is up here kind of yeah that's super lightweight um yeah that's pretty nice so silicone packet nope ah we don't need that okay so that's pretty much, that's pretty cool. I mean, I think it's lightweight and I wouldn't feel bad about like throwing this in my hunting pack uh, or something like that or if I was going out on a hike or something. Um, so really a water bottle like this, you know, if you're gonna go out day hiking or you're gonna go out hunting or, or whatever, uh, is really useful. I mean, if you've ever, like in my experience, I've gone out hunting 
and you know either you're making the decision do I lug around four or five water bottles or do I possibly go a little bit thirsty and leave some water back at the truck um, something like this I think provides a lot of flexibility because there's definitely been times where I have uh, been super thirsty and not had any water and I'm walking by a puddle here a puddle there and I'm like Ooh, that, that looks good um, and super tempted to drink out of it but usually I don't if it's just a sitting pool of water standing water um, out in the middle of the woods it's just kind of weird usually there's a turd or two in it all right so the materials of construction of this thing uh, are pretty awesome it's a stainless steel bottle uh, as, as I mentioned it's pretty light it's got a cool little rubbery type of bottom here so it's non-slip um, and the top of it's kind of this nice shiny sleek look um, and another thing that I thought was kind of cool which was the downside of some of the other competitive products that I saw is um, the USB port the, the micro USB port actually has a rubber kind of a little rubber stopper here that I imagine would help keep moisture out of there, at least to some extent. I'm not saying it's gonna make this bottle waterproof, but certainly adding that feature is gonna make it more water resistant. So I think the next steps here is for us to get this thing charged up uh, now that we've got it unpackaged and uh, do a little bit of testing and have a little bit of fun with it. So we'll be right back. All right guys, so we got the bottle all uh, charged up. So for the moment that you've all been waiting for, let's get right to it. All right guys, well, I haven't been in this position for at least a little while. Um, I think there's some streaks in this guy, but let's try out this toilet water. We're in here in the service bathroom. This baby sees some action. So hopefully this water bottle works. And I don't die. I just got to use this little cup because I couldn't think of another way to get the water out. So, all right, seal this baby up, activate our UV, and now we'll wait a minute and a half. Okay, after all that shaking, jiggling, and wiggling, uh, we just want to do this all in one continuous shot. Uh, that way you know I didn't cheat. It is still in its cycle here. Uh, this bottle does have two different modes. So it has put water in it and purify it mode where you just essentially hold your finger down on this button for a couple seconds till the purple light comes on. And then it has an automatic mode where you hold it down a little bit longer and I believe it flashes green and then it will automatically purify the bottle every six hours. Now, something you didn't know, um, after we shot the first section of this video and I went and charged this bottle, I went ahead and used this bottle for almost a week. Uh, so it's been close to a week since we started this video, um, just to get some hands-on time with it. And I've been really happy with it, satisfied with it. Um, I guess the only downside is it's a 20 ounce bottle, which normally I use a little bit larger bottle. So I'm making a few extra trips to the water cooler, but you know, I could probably use the walking around so we'll just keep waiting all right well she says she's done do we run it through a second cycle <laughs> it says just one should be good enough so folks uh we're gonna drink some toilet water here and uh if you never hear from me again you know why i mean it smells fine Bottoms up. So, we'll report back if I get sick or something, but this says any clear water source. That was a clear water source. So if you're interested in picking up one of these sweet Luminor UV water bottles for your hiking, hunting, backpacking, camping, 
outdoor and or leisure life, just sitting in the office used, utilizing the self-cleaning feature if you like to keep a water bottle at your desk, rcworst.com. Uh, we got great prices on these. As far as I know, this is going to be one of the best prices for this type of water bottle. Um, I believe they're going to be around $85 for now. Uh, so hop on, grab one, and uh, drink some pure water. We'll see you.